Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving radical equations. So I will give you four different examples from an easier example, papunta sa mas mahirap na example. So I hope na makuha natin yung technique on how to solve this kind of equations, which involves radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here item number one, which is the given equation, is that we have the square root of x is equal to 5. Here's the first question you need to know about this kind of radical. You need to ask yourself, what is the value of x that can satisfy this given equation? Again, what is the value of x that can satisfy the given equation? And then, after solving this kind of problem, Later on, we will check whether our answer is correct. So how do we solve this kind of equation which involves radicals? So here guys, in this kind of problem, we have the square root of x is equal to 5. All we need to do is to eliminate the problem, which is the radical sign. And to eliminate the radical sign, all you need to do is to square both sides of the equation. So the process is like this one. You have the square root of x raised to 2. Again, square both sides of the equation because we have property of equality. And then, you have 5 raised to 2. By the properties of radical or the law of radical, we can eliminate this radical sign. Kapag in square natin siya sa labas. So we have here x is equal to 5 squared, which will give you 25. This is the correct answer for item number 1. x is equal to 25. Now, Sabi ko kanina, we will, we will check our answer whether it is correct. So using this, the original equation, using the original equation, we have the square root of x. This is your checking. Again, checking. We have checking. We have the square root of x is equal to 5. And remember, the value of x in our example number 1 is 25, which is when you substitute 25 directly to variable x, we can have the square root of 25 is equal to 5. And calculating the value of square root of 25, that will give you 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of x is definitely 25, and your answer is correct. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have this kind of equation. We have 5 plus the square root of x is equal to 16. This one is quite different from the first example because we have an extra term, which is 5. So basically, before squaring both sides of the equation, you need to manipulate the equation by eliminating 5. So how do we eliminate 5? We need to add the additive inverse of 5 in this equation. So if this is 5, all you need to do is to add or to subtract 5. You have 5 minus 5 plus the square root of x. Sorry, this is x. Now again, what is the purpose of subtracting 5? We need to eliminate 5 and to make it 0. So you have here 5 minus 5 plus the square root of x is equal to 16 minus 5. So again, we need to subtract 5 both sides of the equation because we have property of equality. And simplifying this equation, it will give you the square root of x, because this is 0, is equal to 11. And same process with this kind of example. We have the square root of x is equal to 11. You need to square both sides of the equation. So we can cancel out the square and the radical sign. So you have x is equal to 121 as a square of 11. This is the value of x for item number 2. Now, again, we need to check whether our answer is correct. But this this one is not required. That. I'll, I'm just showing you that your answer is correct in this kind of equation. So using the same equation, you have your checking. Your equation is 5 squared, sorry, 5 plus the square root of x is equal to 16 and the value of x is equal to 121 so we can directly substitute the value of x here 
So 5 plus the square root of 121 is equal to 16. And simplifying this equation, we have 5 plus the square root of 121 is 11 is equal to 16. And 5 plus 11, it will give you 16 is equal to 16. Since they are equal, meaning the value of x, which is 121, is correct. Now let's move on with item number 3. And we have here somehow quite complicated example compared to item number 1 and item number 2. We have the square root of 3x minus 2 is equal to 5. Again, what is the value of 5? What is the value of x that can make this equation or this part of the equation be equal to 5? So let's start with the process. Again, all you need to do here is to eliminate the radical sign by squaring both sides of the equation by 2. So you have 3x minus 2 raised to 2 is equal to 5 raised to 2. So again, applying the law of radical, we can eliminate the radical symbol. And then this part of the equation is equal to 3x minus 2. And then for this part, 5 squared, this will give you 25. And manipulating the equation by the property of equality, to eliminate 2, we need to add 2 in the left side of the equation and on the right side of the equation. So you can have 3x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 25 plus 2. Again, the purpose of this one, why do we need to add 2? Is to, uh, Because we need to eliminate negative 2. Simplifying this, this will give you 3x is equal to 27. 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. And dividing both sides by 3, you can have x is equal to 9. This is the value of x in item number 2. Now, for the part of checking, for checking, to check whether the value of x is correct, using again the, the original equation, you have the square root of 3x minus 2 is equal to 5. All you need to do again is to substitute directly the value of x, which is 9, to your equation. It will give you 3 times 9 minus 2 is equal to Five. And simplifying this, this is 27 minus 2 is equal to 5. And this is the square root of 25 is equal to 5. And the square root of 25 is simply 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, the answer is correct. As you can see, they are equal. Okay? Now, for the last example here in our discussion about solving radical equations, we have the square root of 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 10. Now, iisipin natin ngayon na, sir, ang hirap naman yan because we have two radical expressions. So, hindi siya ganun kahirap. Magstick lang kayo sa process nyo, which is squaring both sides of the equation. So, if you have this kind of equation, you have the square root of 2x plus 2 raised to 2, square both sides, is equal to the square root of x plus 10, raised to 2, and applying the law of radical, we can eliminate the radical sign and this power, radical sign and this power. And as you can see, wala na tayong radical sign. All we have here is we have 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 10. And manipulating your equation, we can add here, we can subtract x, both sides of the equation. You have 2x minus x plus 2 is equal to x minus x plus 10. So what is the purpose of subtracting x? We need to eliminate this x. So we need to subtract x both sides of the equation. This will become 0. That is equal to 10. And then this is x plus 2. And manipulating again your equation, to eliminate 2, all we need to do is to subtract both sides of the equation by 2. So you have x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 2. So, x is equal to, this is 2, sorry, minus 2. 10 minus 2, it will give you 8. This is the value of x in item number 4. Now, to check whether the answer is correct, using the same equation, you have the checking, you have the square root of 2x plus 2 
is equal to the square root of x plus 10. So we have 8 as the value of x. So we can have 2 times 8 plus x, sorry, plus 2 is equal to the square root of 8 plus 10. Okay? And then simplifying this, it will give you 16 plus 2 is equal to the square root of 18, which is, as you can see, 16 plus 2, this is the square root of 18, is equal to the square root of 18. No need to simplify this kind of radicals because we need to prove whether the answer is correct. Since they are equal, definitely, the value of x is equal to 8. This is the process on how to solve radical equations. So I hope you have kayo sa ating tutorial today. And if you have any question about that process or any suggested topic that you want me to cover within our tutorial, you can comment down below sa ating YouTube channel. And I would like to request na i-like and follow nyo rin yung ating Facebook page na makikita nyo sa ating description box. So i-click nyo lang dyan yung ating link and then you can click the like and follow sa ating Facebook page. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!